this point, uh, you guys notice a um, small halfling boy, probably definitely not an adult, probably in his late teens, uh, comes up to the edge of the table, kind of, you know, big eyes and uh, softer features, and he's dressed a little inconspicuously, comes up, Doctor, good performance, good performance, and he kind of claps and looks about the rest of the table, and Doctor's like, this fine boy, the friend. Uh, at which point the, uh, the boy nods and looks about the rest of you. Lifts up a small satchel and unloads it on the table next to Dr. Dranzel, and you see spill out a much larger collection of coppers, silver, rings, bits of jewelry, <laughs> uh, a few loose coin purses, and uh, Dr. Dranzel kind of reaches over and pats him on the head. Good boy, Samson, good boy. Nice haul, Samson. Thanks. And he kind of looks about awkwardly and expectantly and. Uh, Still uh, up to the old tricks, I see, Doctor. Hey. When business is good, Scanlan. Yes. When business is good. Yes, yes, yes. Well. <laughs> and he reaches over and grabs uh, a small bit of the gold coin and puts it into Samson's hands and goes, Go buy yourself some toys. And kind of pats him on the back and the boy runs off excitedly. <laughs> is that little, uh, that little, is it a halfling teenager that was picking pockets at the Sa bar? Is he here? Oh. Uh, he is there. Yes. Can I walk up to him? Yes, you go up to Sam Samson right now, by the way. Uh, is asleep on a table. It's way past his bedtime. Oh. And he's just kind of like on the edge there. I nudge him awake. Oh. Hey, sticky fingers. Uh, uh, hi. Hello, miss. Hey. Hi. So I saw you at the bar. Oh. You know, getting things off of people's pockets. Off of people's pockets? <laughs> yes, sorry again. <laughs> <laughs> they told me they wouldn't miss him. No, no, no. It's totally fine. I don't care. You haven't done that here, have you? Oh. No. No, not unless he tells me to. How are you guys staying? Zed sits up, the large bearded gentleman goes like, I'm happy to sleep here, this is fine by me. Just give me a flat surface. And he kind of just goes over one of the tables and just goes. Is that Zed the drummer? Who is that? Uh, yeah, he's the drummer. Okay. <laughs> that whole team is gone, except for Zed. The drummer? Z yes, Zed is currently uh, having a little bit of ale in the dining room area along with Jarrett, who is assigned to watch over Walter at the keep. As you step inside, they all kind of notice and Jarrett still with his crossbow loaded in his lap, though he's happy and jovial and conversational with Zed. Ah, you've returned. Good to see all of you in good health. Um, the rest have uh, left uh, into the city. Did they say why? For a performance? Uh, uh, Zed kind of leans forward and goes, Oh, uh, actually, it appears that uh, Kaylee got in some sort of a Serious bar tussle last night and is currently being held in the stocks. <laughs> the stockade. I get those words confused. Stockade. Okay. And takes a sip of his ale. The rest of the troops going to see if they can get her out. All right. Good to know. Thanks, Ed. There's no part of you that knew you had any children. I mean, I always knew that that was a possibility in the in the trade I deal in. Which is Ed breaks in and goes, <laughs> Indeed! All right. Easy. Easy. <laughs> uh, listen, drummer. <laughs> it's Zed. You can be replaced easily. When I played with them, we had seven drummers in two years. <laughs> and I killed two of them. <laughs> he sets his drink down and kind of pushes it away. Should I go? No, just stay. Shut up. I'll take that, though. I'll take this drink. I uh, drink it. I'm okay for right now, but... Uh, Maybe, maybe you could help best by staying here and looking after the drummer here and making sure. <laughs> yeah. Just growls at Zen, who stands up. <laughs> I'm, I'm just here to make sure that we continue our deal when they return. I'm not, I, I don't, I just play the drums. 